This video is for Sagittarius. Who or what is coming towards Sagittarius for the rest of August? Let's see. Who or what is coming towards Sagittarius the next, what is it, 11 days left? For the rest of August 2022. What are the messages Sagittarius needs to hear, Spirit? Who or what is coming towards Sagittarius? The rest of August. I'm seeing the Knight of Cups, so wish fulfillment. See, I keep seeing that while I'm shuffling. Okay. Well, at the bottom we have the Six of Pentacles, so I feel like your finances are going to be balanced here. Uh, there could be somebody here too who's like giving to others, so. We'll have to see what else comes out, but then we have the Queen of Pentacles. Ooh. Might have been a triangle, yeah. Okay. So you might have somebody coming. We have the Queen of Pentacles here. The Seven of Swords. There you guys are. The Ace of Wands. And then so I feel like for some of you guys, because this is you, Sag. I feel like you could be dealing with somebody who's going to try to come back around. This person could have been given to this Queen of Pentacles. So you could have been like in a third party. Well, this person, I feel like what they did is they could have snuck off with this Queen of Pentacles and had you in a third party. Um, but it's like their passion lies with you. Okay. So it's like they want to come back and fight for you. They feel like the Queen of Wands... They're very passionate about you, whoever this person is. They feel like you're the wand that they want. They see other people. So I'm going to put these two together. So here you are. You're this wand, okay? This person sees other people trying to get at their wand. Because this is your person. This wand represents you, okay? So this wand is you. They see other people are trying to get at you. So they're like, hell no. You're not going to get my wand. Well, see, where they screwed up was they had you in some type of third party over here with this broad or this guy. So this Queen of Pentacles is somebody they snuck off with and they were giving to this person. So they were breadcrumbing you, even though you're the one that they're passionate about. You're the one that they want. So I feel like this person is going to try to come back around and fight for you. They feel like they've invested a lot of time. This person's like looking back. And thinking of like all the things you did together, all the time they've invested in you. They, they're, they're, they're like waiting, but this person knows that they're going to come back and fight for you. And I think it could be here pretty quick because they see other people wanting you. So what they're going to do, they're going to offer you a commitment. This comes out quite a bit in your readings. This person knows that you're fated. Like this person knows like in their heart and in their soul that you're like their soulmate. So they're going to try to ask you to like marry them or commit to them. They might even try to ask to move in with you. But I feel like this person knows that you guys are fated to be together. You guys do have some type of soul contract. If you look, all of these animals are writing something. They're writing a soul contract. So this is fated. This person was like destined to be in your life. So let's see what's at the top. Okay, we have the fool. See, this person, there's two things I'm getting from this. They want to come back and start over with you. Because the fool is zero in tarot. It's the very beginning of the tarot. You're going on a fool's journey here. This person wants to come back, take a leap of faith with you, and start over. But they also feel foolish. So this person's been holding back from you, I feel like, for a little while. Because they know that they made a huge mistake giving to somebody else when their passion lied with you. They knew that you were the one, but yeah, I don't know if it's because they like just wanted to like um, self-sabotage it or maybe they were tempted. But they know that you're the one, but they want to come back and they want to start over. This person feels like, this is Aries and Leo energy by the way. Um... They, it's like they could have, like, went off with somebody else. And once they got there, they realized, like, holy shit, Sagittarius is where my happiness lies. Like, 
I, I get this quite a bit in your readings. It's like this person feels like you are their sunshine. Like no matter how hard they try to forget about you or pretend like you don't exist, it's like they're realizing their happiness lies with you. Okay, so you make this person like very happy. Yeah, and this person like wants to come back and heal this with you. Like I I get a heal like the yellow to me always represents like really happy, but it also to me is like very healing. There's a lot of yellow in here. And I just feel like this person feels like you're very healing. You know, this is even like I'm pretty sure this is like a church window. <laughs> so it's like, you know how they have the stained glasses at the church? Well, you know, when you go to church, you do get some type of like a healing God vibe there. So this person feels like you're very healing to them, but they have this desire to come back, start over and heal because they know that you're their, their person. Yeah. And it's like this person can no longer hold back. This person has realized like, man, like all these people I know, and it seems like Sagittarius is the one that makes me the happiest. So this person's going to come back towards you. Like, if they live at a distance, they want to come and see you. They want to come to where you're at. But like I said, this is a destined soulmate. Okay? So, you see the star on his head. Could be done with an Aquarius. This is Cancerian, though. This person watches you. They're very passionate about you. Um, they also could know that, like, you're thinking about moving on and just starting something somewhere else with the Page of Wands. But this person does want to communicate with you. They are passionate about you. But I feel like they do watch you. Like they're observing you. Just like we've seen at the bottom with like how the guy was wanting to protect his wand. He, This person admires you. Okay. So whether it's a male or female, it don't matter. These are just energies. This person's admiring you. Yeah. And this person knows you're a good catch. Like, this person knows that, I mean, because this lady, she's dressed in fine clothes. She has on her good clothes. She's very spiritual. She's very wise because she listens to her spirit guides with a the bird there. Um, and you're surrounded by your money. You're surrounded by, um, like, these grapes or whatever they are. They know you're very abundant. They know you're independent. You don't need anybody. So this person knows that if they don't hurry and come back in and make things right with you, you're going to go off with somebody else. Could be dealing with a Virgo. I feel like this person could have also ghosted you. Like maybe this person went quiet on you. But with the Hermit, he's holding a star and the, la the lantern. Well, this is where he's going. This Emperor in this chariot is headed to find his North Star. And he's realized, whoever this person is, it dawned on them. Like, holy shit, Sagittarius is my destiny. Like, I have to go back to my destiny. And once he gets you, and it's weird because I've never thought of this before, but I'm getting this. Um, this person's going to want to put you in that little lantern. <laughs> like, they feel like you are their star. You're very special to them. You're very healing. They know that you are their destiny. And it's like once they get you, they want to put you inside that lantern so nobody else can get you. That's how this person feels about you. Yeah, the king of wands. Wow, we went from the page to the king. So this person is very, very passionate. Um, the king of wands is also the, the least mature of the kings. He thinks a lot more with passion instead of like with his um, logic. So this person has a tendency to kind of be drawn to whatever catches their eye at the time. So that could have been how this person ended up with the Queen of Pentacles, whether that queen is a male or a female, like I said, it don't matter, it's an energy. This person could have like got tempted by their passions, but this person's very passionate about you. Yeah, here they are. This person's just thinking about you. So we have Virgo and Sagittarius. I get this a lot. There's a, always a heavy Virgo. I mean, there's always every energy, but it's really prominent. But anyway, whoever this person is, they, like I said, they are a destined soulmate. So you have like spirit guides here and ancestors and angels who are doing alchemy to bring the two of you back together. You guys have a contract to fulfill. So even if you felt like, oh, well, I'm done with this person. They can just go fly a kite. I don't care what happens to them. 
good luck with that because there is a soul contract here. There's no, you can't, you cannot escape a soul contract until the lessons or whatever was in the contract is up. This contract is not up. Okay, this person is very heartbroken. They also might know that they broke your heart. They might know that they broke Sagittarius's heart. Okay, they're very well, very well aware of what they did to you. And I feel like there was a third party. Yeah, there, there was some type of third party here with the Queen of Cups. So there was a, definitely a third party. This person was like using their passion instead of their head and their heart. But they are going to come. Like this person is going to come back and offer you this cup. Um, they also feel like, you know, I don't know if that Queen of Cups is somebody. I know that Queen of Pentacles is definitely somebody else. But they look at you. I don't think as this Queen of Cups because they feel like you're very loving, very nurturing, very kind, and they know what they did to you is wrong. Like this person's very aware that they did you wrong. Yeah, look, another queen. So wow. <laughs> the thing is, this person's stalling because it's like they know you're very loving, you could be very kind, but they know once they break your heart. That you're not going to, like, they know when they come back, you're not going to treat them the same. So this person look is looking at you and they're like, you know what? Sagittarius is so loving and so kind and Sagittarius probably did this, this, and this for me. But they know that they did you dirty. And so now when they come back to offer you this love, they know damn well you're going to be in the Queen of Swords. You're no longer going to be this Queen of Cups. You see how the Queen of Cups even has her back to the night? So this person's like, because look, it's like, this person knows like, okay, this Sag is probably not going to be loving to me. So when I show up, I'm going to have to face this Queen of Swords now. But it's like they don't care because they know that you're their person. Like they know that they're in love with you. So they're willing to face you. Yeah. And they're going to apologize. Okay. So here they are. They know, like I said, this person's highly aware you're pissed. They know that you, they know that you will talk to him because you have your hand out and you're sitting on your throne and you're like, okay, peasant, come talk to me. I'll hear you out. But if you feed me any bullshit or lies as to why you did what you did, I will cut you with a sword. So they know that. So they're going to come to you and they're, they, it's funny that they're showing up here as a page. They're going to make themselves like really small um on purpose because they want you to kind of like surrender and be like oh it's just me i'm here i'm small like don't worry about me so it's like they're gonna really apologize here and they're gonna try to offer you this love they're like please take this little fish in this cup you might just cut the cup off like <laughs> i don't know but they are coming as a page so they're gonna come and they're gonna message you or they're gonna show up and they're gonna apologize yeah, and I feel like this is like you being at a crossroads, trying to figure out what to do, but I also feel like this is just them observing you. Like, I know the two of wands is supposed to be, oh, you're trying to make a decision, blah, 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 but I feel like this person observes you. It's like, it, to me, a lot of times, this is the World Wide Web card. Like, this person's viewing you on the World Wide Web. This person keeps a very close eye on on like what you're doing so there, there's a probably a good chance for 98 percent of you this person has eyes on you through social media or something like that yeah and look look what's next so like i said this person's stalking you very much stalking you yeah they, and they also feel like you're closing out the cycle with them and moving on so to them the way that they view you is they have no idea so okay this is what you guys are doing oh you guys are hilarious one of my guides just told me what you guys are doing Sagittarius are brilliant brilliant masters at this you guys have the ability to paint an illusion for people you could probably be in your house crying your eyes out but to the world and to the public you're having the best time of your life so this person feels like, um, oh, that's funny. I'm seeing a red cardinal out here. I'm looking out my window. There's a red cardinal out in the tree. Okay, anyway, <laughs> I wish I could turn the, take the camera off and show you guys. That's also a sign from spirit. So for those of you who have somebody who's crossed over 
um, if you see a red cardinal, that's them talking to you. So that's that's a sign for somebody who's seen a cardinal. Um, I feel like some of you who just had somebody recently pass away, they're wanting to come through and tell you that they love you, they care about you, and that they are with you. Okay, so back to the story. You guys are like um, putting on a front to this person that you're completely fine. So they're watching you, and they, they don't even think that you care that they're gone, okay? So keep doing that. That'll really get to them. <laughs> but here they come. They are going to return. So this person wants to come back, start this over with you. Like I said, you guys have unfinished business. You guys have a contract together. Um, but here they come. They are going to come back. You could have known this person from childhood or something like that, but if not, it is a past life soulmate. There is a contract here. But they are going to return. They could even try to like bring you a gift. This person also wants to move to calmer waters. So like whatever happened, they want to like leave it in the past and make amends with you. They're going to come in here pretty quick. Um, it, I feel like this person knows the time is ticking. And the reason I say that is because if they're watching you, online and they feel like you're just over them you're moving on with life like this is how they view you too that you're just moving on with life like that you could care less about this person and then they see you interacting with other people um other people could be like buying for your attention this person's like hell no i'm not like here you are you're trying to move on so you're moving on with your life and then all of a sudden here comes this person out of nowhere and just stops you like where the hell do you think you're going so this person will not let you move on. You're, and I feel like this is a seri series of events. Like you could have like constantly keep trying to move away from this person. And every time you like finally get the nerve to be like, okay, I'm leaving this time. They're like, no, you're not. They like to block you. Whoever this person is, they have a tendency to block you from moving on. So think about somebody you know that just never like wants to let go of you. Yeah, you're going to get, like, lots of communication, phone calls, texts from this person. Um, they're going to be very passionate, so be prepared for that. Like, if this person knows that you have a weakness for charm and passion, or they're going to really put it on thick, so be prepared for that. But there's a lot of fast-moving energy with this person. Could be dealing with a Libra. Also, like... This is karma at its finest. Like, if this person, Sagittarius, tried to play you, it's just like this person, like, the tables were turned and they were flipped up on, like, their head. It's just like, whatever they were trying, it literally backfired on them. So the tables, the scales are balancing in your favor. But I feel like there is a heavy air presence here. Before I even pulled the, the justice out, I almost said I feel like there's an air energy so this person I feel like could be an air sign but they are coming yeah they want to build and collaborate with you they want to work with you like this person also knows um, I don't know if you're successful or what but it's like this person knows if they build with you they're actually you know this person may not have a lot I don't know but it's like they know that if they work with you, they'll be successful. But they are going to come in. They want to collaborate with you, work with you, build with you. You're not going to see any of this coming. Like, this these, this is, like, hidden from you. There's also a lot of hidden emotions with this person. This person hides things from you. And I also feel like they were trying to hide a third party from you, but it probably got exposed. Because this also could be third party. Yeah, this person views you as family, though. Like, they view you as somebody that is complete emotional fulfillment for them, which I seen earlier with the um, son. Like, this person, you, you make them very, very happy. And wherever they went, they were not happy. Like, this person's not happy, like, when they're not around you. Devil energy. Yeah, see... This person could have followed the devil. They could have went back to some type of like an addiction or they could be drinking a lot. Like, I mean, the devil represents obsession, toxic behavior, lust, lies. I mean, they did something and they're in regret. This person regrets probably listening to the devil 
and not following their like highest soul's calling like they did something that was lower self um but this person i also feel like has a um obsession with you like they want to be tied to you i also feel like with these three cards together there could have been an outside interference um the three pentacles could represent a family and the ten of cups also like they could regret listening to their toxic ass family so for those of you who you know there might not have been a potential um third party to lover it could have been family that um they listen to like they're they're very i feel like this person has a very toxic family life and they could have influenced this person to leave you or turn their back on you and they're in regret they regret listening to those idiots and i think they're looking around at their family and they're thinking you know what like none of you guys have your lives together all of you guys are a bunch of toxic a-holes why did i listen to you guys when it came to my sagittarius because sagittarius made me very happy and so this person's really looking back and thinking of about like what they did they're in regret yeah so they want to come back this person they're going to come back they're going to offer you this little coin um, which i feel like is commitment because at the bottom we see the ace of pentacles with the four of wands this person is going to come back and offer you something but i just get this feeling like when they come back they're going to have some type of gift with them like this person's going to have something and they're going to be like oh you know i just seen this while i was out and it made me think of you sagittarius so here it is so this person's going to come with a gift king of pentacles <laughs> so they're also okay this person also is going to tell you that they changed so if you were dealing with somebody who was coming to you in the page energy they're now going to try to come back and tell you that they've changed that they're no longer playing childish games with the page of pentacles now they want to be the king which is commit so this person is going to try to tell you that they've changed yeah and that this person is in great despair and regret over this ending like this person thinks about the ending that they had with you a lot yeah this person's in love with you gemini energy so the the love is mutual here but you guys are apart from each other like you see how your hands are not being held held like you guys are there but you're still apart okay you guys were split apart the lovers were split apart there's still distance between the two of you right now yeah this person's like really in their head about you they're overthinking this but they want to communicate they want to cut the cords that bind them like you see how you're wrapped up here this person's wrapped up they want to cut those cords off so that they can like get clarity on the situation and this person has like this person i feel like was in their head they were very indecisive and it's just like spirit talked to them and said hey idiot sagittarius is the one sagittarius is the one and so they realize like holy shit sagittarius is the one i'm in love with so they are getting clarity yeah because see they were very confused i feel like this person could have multiple options but it's like they're getting this clarity that like you're the one they're gonna get clarity yeah and they're gonna put an ending to these other options they're gonna put an ending to having options because they spirit yeah i told you see this is always a, this is a message from spirit this person got truth and clarity from spirit there was a spirit guide that intervened so the spirit guide is somebody who's crossed over too because the death is next to it so it's somebody who's either working on it from your side of the family or theirs um either one could be working together but they told this person sagittarius is the one so they're going to put an ending to have an options because they know that you're the option yeah they know see how there's all these cups so this person was looking at all their options and it was just like they were sitting there one day and they're like oh my god like i've been out here with all these scallywags <laughs> that's what i call them scallywags and so it's like wait a minute 
Sagittarius is the option. Like that Sagittarius is the one that God gave me. Because see, this is God. And it's like God gave you, gave you to this person and they were too dumb to realize it. Well, they're realizing it now. So you're the option that they're going to pick. They've realized that they're in love with you. This person is in love with you. Yeah, and it gives them great <laughs> stress and anxiety. To Like, I'm telling you, this person is up a lot at night or just even during the day thinking about you like, man, how did I mess this up? Like, how did I do this to Sagittarius? Like, they've realized you're, you're the one that they fell in love with. Yeah, and they want to have victory and success with you. Like, they want to come back. You see at the beginning how this person, with, like, with the Seven of Wands, wanted to fight for their wand. Well, with the Six of Wands, they actually did fight for you. And then they're showing you off to the others who wanted you. So that's what this person wants to do. They want to win you over. Um, and they want to have a victory with you. And then we have the High Priestess. So once again, this is like the match to the Hierophant. There's a spiritual... A huge spiritual um, things going on spiritually in the background that you and this person don't see. But spirit is working together to help this person realize who you are to them. And they want to come out of the cold. Like this person has anxiety. Like when you're not around and you put this person out in the cold, it causes them a great deal of anxiety. And, th and then here we have, you see with the lovers, there was a gap. Their hands were not touching at all. There was still a huge gap. Not anymore. Because spirit stepped in. This person is going to come out of the cold. You guys are going to get back together. So there is going to be a coming back together. And then here you guys are holding hands. Touching hands. Touch, sharing this cup. The bridge had, you know, the gap. The bridge is closed. Like, you guys bridged. So it's like there's no more separation. You guys are going to come back together. This is your soulmate. And when I was shuffling, I kept I kept seeing this and the Nine of Cups. So this lets me know that like you guys are going to get back together. And this person, we have the Eight of Pentacles next. So this person is going to come back and put the work in on you to, to heal this situation and to build with you. Like they're going to be, you're going to be their main focus. Okay, so they are going to come back. Put in the work. And then here we have the strength. This is good that this came out. Because this strength card overpowers the devil card. So it was like this person not only is coming back for you. They also had the strength to overcome the devil. Like they were able to hold back the devil. So this person is going to um, put in work on you. And they're going to have the strength to come back and tell you. And this person has realized that you are their empress. Whether you're male or female, it doesn't matter. They know that you are their empress. I also feel like, because earlier in the reading, I told you this person, like, could have, like, because they were showing up as the king of wands, page of wands, I feel like they could have, like, let their passion rule them. So they could have been tempted by somebody else, but it's like they know that you're the empress. So for some of you, like, ladies that watch, maybe you don't dress all per provocative maybe you're not like you know because you see how she's fully dressed so I feel like you're very classy and I feel like some of these you know whoever they betrayed you for could have been um somebody who like could have even tried to seduce this person I don't know but it's like they had a wake-up call and they realized that you're the one that they want to be with yeah if this person lives at a distance they're like waiting for you they want you to come back around like this person's gonna come yeah, and this person knows there's competition for you. They don't like that. Yeah, they're going to come and offer you this commitment. They also feel like with the Knight of Pentacles that you guys are just like on a pause and that like um, you're going to come back or, or like, you know, that you guys will come back together. And then we have the judgment. So this is them getting that wake up call from God, like saying, hey, it's Sagittarius, go back to Sagittarius. So here they are. They are for sure coming. And then we have the emperor. So this is your divine counterpart. We have the empress and the emperor. And this person is saying, this person's going to let everybody know that you belong to them. Like, because there's competition for you. And this person's like, ha-ha, uh -uh. 
I am the emperor. I'm the one that's going to claim Sagittarius. Everybody else can just fly a kite. So this person, I feel like, is very um, possessive over you. And this person is probably very, like, um, egotistical and, like, um, can probably be a little controlling and, uh, like, alpha, male or female. Yeah, king of swords. <laughs> so they're going to cut out anybody who wants you, but this person is coming. They want truth. They want clarity. They're going to speak their truth, but the king of swords, he's very honest, sometimes a little bit too honest, Okay. But this person is going to come back and they're going to claim you. And then look, look what's next. The Nine of Cups. This is what kept coming out when I was shuffling. So you guys are going to get your wish fulfillment. And then we have the star, which is your destiny. Like this person is your destiny. Aquarius energy. Yeah, you guys are going to be very, could be very indecisive having your heart blocked off. You may not even see this person coming, but they are coming. Yeah. You guys manifested this person. So for those of you that have been doing your manifestations, keep doing them because it is going to work. <clears throat> yeah. It's like, <laughs> also, if this person was like, um, not making any moves with the hanged man in reverse, that means they're coming out of that tree to come get you. And I feel like right now they could, they could be a little bit like, they also know that when they come towards you, you could also reject them and not not take their cup of love. So they're going to, they could try to trick you. The magician is very, like, very good at manipulating with words. So be prepared for that. They're going to do whatever they have to do to make sure that you don't, like, reject them when they come back. Yeah, and they want to drop this burden. Like, being away from you and not having contact with you is like a burden on them. Yeah, and this person knows, like, they go back and forth in their head trying to figure out, like, how to get you not to reject them. Yeah, <laughs> they know that they stabbed you in their back. They also want to put an ending to any juggling. Like, they don't want there to be two, two or three people. You know, they don't want there to be three. They want there to be two, just you and them. So they're going to put an ending to juggling you. Yeah, they're burdened by a third party. So for those of you who are in a third party... They want to end that. Like, they don't want there to be any more third parties. They know you're very guarded because of what they did. Yep, this is good. They want to drop this Three of Cups. They don't want any third parties. And they want to kill any Knight of Wands um, going on. They don't want any play player action going on. They don't want any third parties. So this is good. So when the, that's why they put the King of Swords next to the Emperor. So when this person comes by and admits to you that they were wrong, they should have never had a third party, they're being honest. When they tell you they don't want to play you anymore, they're being honest. So this is like really good. Yeah, they want to walk away from being a player. They want to walk away from a third party because you are their ten of pentacles. They want to build a long-term legacy with you. Yeah, and they want to hold on to you. This person's never going to let you go. Like, they're holding on to you for dear life. Yeah. This person is also very jealous and envious. I said, like, they feel like you belong to them. So if they have other people they have to knock out of the situation in order to claim you, they will do it. They don't care what they have to do. Because they done fell in love with you. With King of Cups, this person is in love with you. Six of Pentacles. They want things to be balanced between the two of you. Also, whoever the um, Queen of Pentacles was that was on the bottom, like, they feel like that person was also playing, like, mind games with them. Yeah. See, they knew that this uh, third-party relationship was built off a lie. They also could have been um, with this Queen of Pentacles for finances. Like, there was never any love there. They could have just been using that person for something because their passion lies with the Queen of Wands. Yeah, see, their passion lies with you. They want a brand new beginning. They want to fight for you like you are their wand there. They want to move in with you, marry you. <laughs> they know that you got, you're the fated one. They know that you guys have this contract. Spiritually, they know on a soul level. And they want to offer you a commitment. So see, it's kind of funny how spirit does this, like <laughs> how the story ends you know because these are the cards i used at the beginning to look at at the bottom 
but as you go through it paints like a story <laughs> like tells you kind of what's going on but this is really good these two cards here besides relationship is like a windfall so those of you who are doing work keep doing it you're gonna have a lot of money i mean if you guys believe in the lottery maybe go buy a ticket because some of you guys watching are going to get a windfall here this is big money but this person does want to move in with you marry you they want things to like turn in their favor and they are going to offer you a commitment okay so let's see what signs boy that was a long video i'm already at 35 minutes let's see what signs you could be dealing with i wonder if any of you guys are going to actually watch this to the end i'm sure you will but pisces capricorn taurus scorpio libra gemini aries cancer pisces taurus gemini aquarius libra and then here's an angel number seven so five seven five seven three because in numerology there's no 12 that's a three five seven three and then we have one 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 seven okay this can also be birth dates okay um if you want a personal reading email me i still have a lot of reading requests i need to reply to i finally got all my readings caught up so tomorrow i'll start um replying to emails and get the um reading request up okay so let's see i'm gonna pull one oracle card i just want to see like what flies out spirit what do you want to tell wow <laughs> i couldn't even get that done round and round so what like i said you guys have a soul contract with this person and they are coming back around wow there was chaos and conflict okay so there was chaos, there was conflict, but this person's coming back around. I was going to pull one card, but I want to see what else. A leg up. This person could also like, um, you know, like for some of you, this doesn't have anything to do with this person, but if some of you need to learn to stop doing everything on your own. Like it's okay to ask people for help. So for those of you who need help, Spirit's telling you to ask. I also feel like, though, for this person, they might need your help, okay? A change in the wind. So something is coming, like, think, I feel like your life is about to change, especially if you guys take this person back. Exchanging gifts. So for those of you, Spirit's telling you to, like, work on your business, keep doing that because you're going to be financially successful, but also this is, like, exchanging energies with this person. Also, this is that person is bringing you a gift. Also, I just heard that whoever this person is, when you guys first met, like think back to when you first um, encountered each other, you guys could have bought each other gifts. Okay, so this is somebody you've traded gifts with. Then we have the Yang. That's like uh, a male energy coming. Like they're about to take action. Yeah, this means second chances, regeneration. This person is coming toward you for a second chance. Whatever you thought was dead isn't. It's going to be revived. Yeah, because of a higher power. You guys have spirit here who stepped in and is going to make you guys do this over again. Because you co-created with spirit. A lot of you guys manifested this. 